Well, Ben, we just heard from the Ashford Fire Chief a couple of minutes ago. He tells us they were able to put out this fire in about 90 minutes or so, but the cold temperatures tonight making it that much more difficult for his crews. The weather making icy conditions. Now, he tells us that the dining hall here at the camp was completely destroyed, but the good news is they were able to salvage a number of other buildings, and more importantly, there were no injuries here tonight. Take a listen. Typically in, in these types of situations, we'll make sure to, uh, you know, uncover each and every piece of evidence that we can find. If there's any evidence that needs to be tested at the state laboratory, we'll send it out. Um, we're working not only with the local fire marshal, we have uh, our federal partners on scene as well um, from the ATF and the FBI. Again, we're going to employ all uh, possible resources to this investigation to ensure that, um, you know, we can come up with uh, the, the origin and cause of this fire. I'm starting to receive numerous calls of a structure fire at that location. Red flames were seen shooting out of the hole in the wall gang camp Friday afternoon. We're showing a column of smoke over the area. The Ashford Fire Department calling in mutual aid from Eastford, Mansfield, Tallinn, and Yukon to battle the blaze. Oh, it's very, very thick black smoke. It looked like a look like a smoke tornado, basically. This video sent to Fox 61 from resident Kristen Starr captures dark smoke filling up the sky. Starr says she could see the fire unfolding from her family's property nearby. It was pretty sad. Um, I personally knew two people who attended it, and they got so much out of that camp. There were no reported injuries, but camp officials confirming to Fox 61 the fire did destroy large portions of the property, including their wood shop, arts and crafts, cooking zone, and camp store buildings. Hole in the Wall, founded by Paul Newman in 1988, holding a powerful meaning for many as it gave the typical summer camp experience to seriously ill children and their families. Camp CEO James Canton releasing a statement reading in part, although the cause of the fire is unknown at this time, what is known is that the Hole in the Wall gang camp is a community devoted to hope and healing. We will get through this in the way that we always have and always will as a family. And the state fire marshal is on scene as the cause of this fire remains under investigation. Ben. The good news here, just listening to you, that is that the stretch of buildings that were destroyed are between the dining hall and the infirmary. Both the dining hall and infirmary were salvaged. You've been at camp all afternoon. Uh, you know, this place is extremely special to so many families and people in the area. What are some of the messages, the tweets you're seeing on social media about camp tonight? Yeah, well, many people obviously, Ben, calling this a tragedy. It's a, a sad fire that happened here today. Some people, though, also reflecting on the legacy that Paul Newman left behind with this camp and just all the children he was able to help. So definitely a sad night out here, Ben. All right, Zania, thank you very much. A tough night for so many people. Just to give you some perspective on how special this place is, if you're lucky enough to not have a child who was a camper. Uh, the camp allowed wheelchair bound kids the chance to go in a tree house for the very first time. They had a wheelchair ramp thousands of feet long going up into a tree. It allowed kids with sickle cell anemia the chance to swim in a pool for the very first time and allowed families to forget about their child's cancer for one week and to be around others going through similar battles like theirs. The camp was founded like Zania said in 88 by Paul Newman. The project arose out of Paul Newman's passion to provide opportunities for children with serious illnesses and disabilities to experience summer camp and all the friendships that go along with it. Its programs serve 20,000 children and families each year. All of its services provided free of charge, thanks to Newman's Own, the charity that Paul Newman also founded. The Hole in the Wall Gang Camp is also one of the major beneficiaries of the Travelers Championship each year. The camp has full medical facilities on site to provide those children with all the care they typically get in a hospital setting, all while being able to enjoy life at a camp. We'll continue to follow this devastating story tonight in the coming days as we learn more about what caused this fire. Be sure to download the Fox 61 News app for continuing coverage and updates.